Hello everybody, I'm Dr. Yinini Gondara, I'm the chairman of the Island and Progress Association, ALPA. When you watch this uh, induction video, you will learn about the new job and the new things that you need to do. ALPA store is a very important place to work. It is a heart of the community. Induction. I love work because this the work is make you encourage, give you knowledge. It's fun to come to work. You learn more stuff all the time. The job of the Alpa store is to make sure there is enough food for all your family and friends and that their food is healthy and nutritious. When you decide to work at the Alpa store, it is your job to come to work for every shift. The community needs you. The Alpa store is like a football team. Everyone needs to turn up and do their job so the store is strong. When everyone comes to work, there are fresh fruit and vegetables available. Lots of takeaway food to buy and plenty of drinks and groceries. Everyone can do their job like ordering new things for customers and making sure there is enough food and variety like clothes, computers, DVDs and electrical goods. You will help to build a successful Alpa store which makes a stronger, safer community. Duty of Care The first thing that you need to learn about duty of care the duty of care is about being safe at work. When working in the helper store, there's a law that you must follow so that you are safe. This law is the same in Woolworth, Coles, in all Australia. The law says that you have to follow the store safety rules and care for yourself and other staff in the workplace. Alpha must always care for you. The law says the workplace must be safe. The Alpa directors and CEO must care for the safety of everyone. Duty of care is the responsibility of everyone. Remember, before you start, be safety smart. Staff and Alpa obligations. This is what you must do when working at Alpa store and what Alpa must do to care for you. When you decide to work for Alpa store, you become part of a very important team. Every day you need to ask yourself this question. Does the Alpa store need me to work today? Because you asked us to come to work for this company. Make sure you come in time, you know. People think when the payday, the job is finished. But the uh, job is ongoing thing, you know. In time all the time. Because the time is money. The manager will give you a roster so you know what time to turn up. You must come to work on time. When you get to work, you need to see the store manager and log on or go to the time target kiosk and log on with your card. The manager and supervisors will give you training on how to do this. You must stay at work for the time of your shift. Log on at the start and log off when you have breaks and log off when you finish. Try to stick by the rosters, uh, but it helps in knowing what times you're supposed to come to work and what time you have your break and what time you knock off from work. It is very important for you to come to work. The community needs you so they can buy food. Of 
if you are sick or you have family problems, you must tell the store manager or supervisor so they can ask someone else to work. If you do not tell someone, there will be trouble. Store will not open, managers and staff will be upset, community will be hungry and angry, jobs will not get done. I usually give the managers a heads up if we have something happening the next day or a week ahead, like if there's a funeral that's coming up in a week time and it's a close member, we will let the managers know rather than not let them know because then they'll start wondering maybe we don't want to work. Alpa and the law. The law says that Alpa must pay you when you come to work. You will be paid fortnightly, which is every two weeks. There are two types of pay, casual and permanent part-time. You will start on casual rate of pay, which is more than part-time, but you don't get holiday pay or sick pay. After you have worked for three months, and you have been turning up to your rusted shift and the store managers and the supervisors are happy with your work, you will be asked if you want to become permanent part-time employee. If you say yes, the manager will ask you to fill in an employee change of status form and you will learn more about being permanent part-time. The law says that when you start work, you must tell Centrelink how many hours you worked each week and your Centrelink payment will change. Visit Centrelink and show them your pay slips each fortnight. Now you have a job, Alpa is paying you, so your Centrelink payment will be less. The law says that Alpa must pay you superannuation. Superannuation is a bank that stores money for you when you get old. For every $100 you earn, Alpa saves an extra $9 into your superannuation bank. Alpa puts 9% of your wage in this bank, but you cannot have the money until you are about 60 years old. If you pass away, your close family can have the money. You must come to work to get this superannuation. You will need to work about five days per month to get paid superannuation. The law says you must pay tax. Tax is money that you will give to the government. The government uses this money to pay for schools, clinic and shire services. At the end of the financial year, 30th June, you will receive a payment summary. You need to give this to a tax agent and you might get the tax money back. When you work at the Alpa store, you are part of a very important team, like a football team. Everyone must work together to build a strong store and serve the community. Timeless land, ancient beginning, ever You must treat all workers and managers with respect. Don't fight or yell at people or damage things in the store. The store must be a happy, safe place for you to work. You must listen to the managers and supervisors and do the things they ask you to do. They have a lot of knowledge about retail and have worked for a long time. The managers and supervisors know what to do to build a successful store. Like you can work together. All the managers came and they teach me how to do invoicing, to give knowledge, share, so I can teach other people too. We talk in front of the managers, the supervisors, the staff. Guy. If there's something wrong with the managers, come and talk to the managers. It's to help us to work together. 
If many of them make you upset, don't walk away. There is a people who have to sort all the problems. Hygiene and uniform. You must come to work clean and tidy. Wear your uniform and covered shoes. Alpa will give the uniform and will help you buy some shoes. There will be a storage place so you can leave your shoes at the Alpa store. It is important to be clean and tidy because you work with food and people being clean will kill germs and stop illness. You must wear shoes because the shoes keep your feet safe from dangerous hazards in the store like hot water spill, a pallet falling suddenly or the cold floor in the freezer. Alpa gives training, education and employment for the longer term within the community. When you come to work, this is the things that you have to wear while you're at work, is while you're filling up wear your shoes. I wear my shoes and also I wear a glove so I can put all the like damper in the kitchen so I don't have to burn. When you come to work for a company like Alpa or Carl's or all this, always wear the boots. I listen to your supervisor. You must follow the cleaning rosters. Cleaning is a very important part of your work at Alpa store. Because we work with food, everything must be clean to kill germs and stop illness. You must follow the toilet and tea room cleaning roster. All workers must take turns to clean the toilets and tea room. Please look at the roster so you know when it is your turn. The managers will display the roster in the store. The Alpa store will provide cleaning equipment and supplies. Security Keeping stock at the shop safe. The store law says no stealing. When you work at the Alpa store, you must pay for stock you want. If you want a drink or food while you are at work, you must keep the docket and show your manager so they can sign it proving that you have paid. Managers must pay for stock too. You are allowed to ask the manager to show you their docket. You are not allowed to hide stock in the store. If you find something at the store that you would like to buy, give the item to your manager. It will be stored in a safe place and you can buy it when you get paid. If you find stock which is broken, out of date or no good, this is called damaged goods. You must report the stock to your manager and write it on a damaged goods sheet before the stock is removed from the store. The law says the store cannot sell old or damaged stock to our customers. You are not allowed to remove Alpa assets like ladders, lawn mowers, chemicals, mops or buckets. All these items belong to the store and are for store use only. Only authorized workers, managers and supervisors are allowed in the office, safe or ATM. Make sure no customers go into the office. Find a manager or supervisor if a customer needs help. Register staff are allowed in the office when counting a float and cashing up. They must be with a manager or supervisor. There are a lot of important things in the office and managers must make sure they are safe. Register rules.
rules when serving customers and handling money. Register workers sell cigarettes and these must be counted before starting work and counted at the end of work. The store manager will check the sales to see if the cigarettes balance. Cigarettes cost a lot of money. They must be safe or the store can lose a lot of money. Never serve yourself. Always ask a manager or supervisor to serve you. Register workers must not serve close family. Your mother, father, sister, brother and children. If there is pressure from family, the register worker can leave the register and ask a supervisor or manager to serve. Alpa understands that family hamba can be a problem. Managers and supervisors are watching. Talk to them and let them help. Register workers must log off when having a break so no one else can use the till money. Only a supervisor or manager can use the register while you are on your break. Balancing registers. Register worker must count a float. Money you use as change. Make sure it is correct. When work is finished, the register worker counts all the money and the manager or supervisor will check to see if the money balanced. You will be shown how to do this if you become a register worker. Money must balance to make sure the store does not lose money. If you see someone stealing, tell the store manager. It is everyone's responsibility to stop stealing in the store. When there is stealing in the store, the store loses lots of money. Everyone must work like a team. So all the jobs are done and the store is successful, then there will be money to give back to the community. Successful store means stronger, safer community. We are one team, we should work together, you know, and we should be proud. Work, health and safety. Work, health and safety is about your health and safety while you are at work. The law says you must care for your own safety and the safety of others when you are at work. ALPA must help you learn the Australian safety law. This is called duty of care. The law says you will need to learn how to use equipment safely. The managers and supervisors will give you the training you need. You are not allowed to smoke in the store or in vehicles because smoking is bad for your health and the smoke will damage the inside of the vehicle. Mobile phones and earphones must not be used at work. You will get a break while you are at work. That is the time to make calls and listen to your music. Using a mobile phone or listening to music is very dangerous because you will not hear when someone tries to tell you about any danger. You must not come to work after using drugs or drinking alcohol. You will not be able to work safely. You will be asked to stop work if you are being dangerous and might cause injury to yourself or other workers. The manager will send you home. This is about your safety at work and the law says ALPA and managers must care for you. Hazards A hazard is something causing danger in the workplace. You need to know about hazards. There are lots of signs at the store to warn you about hazards. Danger forklift, chemicals, wear shoes, correct manual handling. There are many other hazards like spills, ice on the freezer floor, boxes left in the aisle, heavy boxes 
and cotton cutters. Well, like in the main shop, if there's too many stuff that's lying around on the floor, a customer could trip over it, and the only person that will get into trouble is Alpa itself. Manual handling. This is about lifting boxes correctly. When you work at the store, you will be lifting boxes and you must learn how to do this so you do not hurt your back. Check your load to see if you can handle the weight. Bend down with your legs into a squatting position. Never bend with your back. Pick up the item. Stand up straight, bringing the item close to your chest. Turn with your feet. Communication and incident report. Hazards mean danger for you and other people. Watch for hazards. Tell your manager or supervisor about any hazards you see so they can be fixed. Then no one will get injured. If someone gets injured, you must tell the manager so an incident report can be written. An incident report is a form that the manager fills in and sends to Alpa Darwin office. Then the Alpa Darwin office and the manager work out how to stop the incident from happening again. Work, health and safety meetings. Every month your manager will have a work, health and safety meetings to talk about safety problems at work. Make sure you tell the manager if you see workers doing dangerous things like talking on mobile phones, using knives instead of cotton cutters, or workers not wearing shoes. Tell the manager if you see something unsafe at work like aircon leaking, broken trolley, or ladder. The meeting is a time for everyone to talk about work, health, and safety and how to make the workplace safe. ALPA has a work health and safety committee. This is a group of people from ALPA Darwin office who talk about safety in the stores and find ways to make the workplace safer. Emergency evacuations. Emergency evacuations are dangerous events which will make workers or customers unsafe, so workers or customers must leave the store. These things are fire, gas or chemical spills, cyclone, riots, fighting or angry customers, medical when someone is hurt. The store law says you must listen for the codes when there is an emergency. Code red Get your things and get ready to leave. Code orange. Leave the store and go to the meeting point. Code blue. Someone needs first aid. Get the first aid kit. You need to know who can help when there is an emergency evacuation. These workers are called chief wardens, managers area wardens, supervisors. These workers will tell you what to do. They will be calm and will direct you to the nearest door when it is time to leave. Do whatever they say. These workers have been at the store for a long time and will care for your safety. There are other things you need to know for emergencies, which are, where are the fire extinguishers? Where are the emergency exits? Emergency contact list? Emergency meeting point? Your manager will show you where all these things are located in your store. You need to know what these things are so you know what to do when there is an emergency. Cyclone preparation. When we hear about a cyclone, the manager will ask everyone in the store to do different jobs. 
these jobs are serious because it will help to care for store workers and people in the community. You must clean up rubbish, make special displays for emergency things like torches and batteries, clean up the yard and tie down large things like pallets, fill up the vehicles with fuel, move loose items into the store, come back to work when the cyclone is over. The community will need food and water. First aid kit. Your manager will show you where the first aid kit is. The manager will also let you know who the first aid person is so you can find the first aid person and first aid kit when there is a medical emergency. PPE. This means personal protective equipment. You must wear the PPE at work to protect your body from injury. These are shoes, freezer jackets and gloves, oven gloves, hygiene gloves, aprons, cap or hairnet, goggles when mowing. Hazardous chemicals. You will need to know where the hazardous chemicals are stored. You will need to use these chemicals for cleaning and there must be PPE gloves available so you can handle the chemicals safely. There is a sign telling you how much chemical to use. Food safety rules. When you work at the store you might be asked to work in the takeaway. You will make food and sell the food to customers and you must learn the food safety rules for opening and closing the takeaway. Opening the takeaway. Wear your shoes. The kitchen is a dangerous place. Hot water, knives and hot food are used and if dropped could injure your feet. Tie up your hair Wear a cap or hairnet so hair does not get into the food. This can cause disease. Turn on the bain-marie to high so the bain-marie is hot when the food is ready to sell. Wash hands and wear gloves so no germs can get into the food. Check the temperature of a hot and cold bain-marie. Food poisoning germs grow quickly between 5 degrees and 60 degrees. This is called the temperature danger zone. Closing the takeaway. Write off food that is left and throw in the bin. Food that is old can make people sick when they eat it. Write the date on all food in the fridge. This is so people who work in the takeaway the next day know if they can use the food. Turn off the bain-marie and clean it. Clean kitchen equipment. Mop floors and sanitize the benches. You must clean everything in the takeaway to kill germs and keep the food safe. If you are asked to work in the takeaway, you will learn more information about germs and food safety. Okay, in your first day in a store, the manager and the supervisor will walk around in the store with you so you know 
where things can be found. Every story is different. You need to find the toilet, tea room, sign-on area, and the emergency information. All of the things that have been talked about in this TVD. If you have any question, ask the manager or a supervisor. Alpa is very happy you have decided to work at the store. Working in a store is a very important job. The community needs you. You are the part of the team that provide a food for the community. You help to build as a successful Alpa store, which make a stronger and safer community. You must think about your safety and the safety of the other workers. Before you start, be safety smart. Thank you for watching this uh, video and uh, I hope you enjoy and uh, welcome to work with the helper.